and welcome back to Crazy Town AVP. Let's discuss internet in South Africa. It sucks cheese, let's talk about why, and let's propose some solutions in this video, shall we? Let's get straight to it. So we've always known that in South Africa, we've got slow internet speeds. This can be attributed to lack of infrastructure, lack of funds, lack of accessibility, but there's a whole swarm of factors as to why we've landed down to this case. But before we get in depth as to why I'm you know, getting to propose some solutions, let's talk about some of the reliable ISPs out there. We've got Axis, we've got Vox. Actually, here's a list right here. You can look through them and you can get extra pretty reasonable internet speeds out of these guys. And I'm talking mobile L LTE, fixed LTE, um, fiber, internet that runs on copper wires. This video is really just an overview of what to look for in a good service provider and which ones to stay away from. Right off the bat though, stay away from rain. Oh my goodness, I can't emphasize this enough. Stay away from that ISP, please. Like if you're, uh, but I must say, if you're living in the rural areas and you're thinking, oh no, the only thing I do is check my emails every once in a while. Go for rain, sweetheart. By all means, please, boo-boo, go for rain. However, if you're in the city, fast life, bro, okay? You gotta be submitting your two gigabyte project tomorrow. You gotta send video files. You gotta send out emails, especially if you're in corporate. Oh my goodness, you're always sending emails. And your inbox gets full real quickly. And just besides that, if you're attaching big files in your email, yeah, you're gonna have to have reasonable internet speeds to send those through. If you're running heavy duty stuff on the internet, you need high internet speeds. All right, so for you to have great internet speeds, particularly in the African continent, you you know either need fiber, right now you need voice over internet protocol, known as VoIP in short, or I don't know how to, VOIP or something. Or alternatively, you could use satellite. You could have internet over satellite uh, communication. Now, let's discuss the pros and cons about these. Actually, let's just discuss, you know, these solutions. So the first solution up is just fiber, just from a personal standpoint. This is probably the most sustainable and reasonable solution there is out there um, with, you know, the top ISPs essentially competing for the top spot off the, you know, consumer's money. However, fiber can actually prove itself to be very expensive, prone to theft, yes, in South Africa particularly, people steal cables out here. Copper cables, fiber cables, you name it, all right? People do steal these, so they're prone to theft. However, the biggest issue about fiber right now is the lack of accessibility to people. Like, it's hard to get fiber into people's homes right now, and that's because they run through the ocean, and you know, we only have certain ports uh, you know, in the southern part of Africa that actually runs the lines into land. Um, yeah, it, it can prove itself to be quite difficult to run those cables into land into other remote areas off the country. So lack of accessibility just makes fiber, you know, uh, as much as it's, it's uh, once it's set up, it's the best solution you can have. However, getting it set up and just getting the fibers delivered to your specific area is the hardest part right there. Like literally, if we're to wire up the entire South Africa or Africa, it would take us the next 100 years to do that, or maybe 50 years, you know, if you're a really good entrepreneur and you know what you're doing, you know how to organize your project. Second solution up is actually having a swarm of satellites covering up the country. Now, this is what Elon Musk has proposed with Starlink, and we, we might just see this actually in fruition in, in South Africa and other parts of Africa in the next coming two years, maybe, or four years, it's 2022 now, so we might be having full operation of Starlink satellites within the African continent in the next three years or four years. However, at the moment, we know for a fact that there's three different types of internet, uh, uh, satellite, uh, you know, internet access out there. Uh, you could have LEO satellites, MEO satellites, or GEO satellites. GEO is geostationary, so these are typically about 35,000 kilometers above the equator. The LEO satellites can be placed pretty much anywhere along the longitudinal and lat uh, latitude lines of the Earth. And these are typically, you know, very, they're called low Earth orbit satellites. Then you have MEO satellites. These are uh, midway, they're, 
you know, between the midway points. They're called, I think, middle Earth orbit satellites or something like that. The LEO satellites I know have applications within the gaming industry and so forth. Geo satellites have applications within, you know, weather predicting industries, you know, analyzing, uh, I don't know, uh, ocean tides and stuff like that. It, yeah, it's it's more of uh, getting an overview of what's happening on the planet. That's Geo. Then you got Mio, which can be used, I guess, for both. Uh, but yeah, those are the three t different types of satellites you would need to set up a satellite infrastructure, functional satellite infrastructure. However, what I'm talking about mostly is Leo, as you may have guessed, because that's what most people would prefer, right? Because that's that has low latency compared to the other two, Mio and Geo. So you don't really have that much uh, room for error. Well, you do have room for error, but you don't have much, that much room for high latency, especially if you're in the gaming industry. However, those are just some of the issues and pros and cons about satellite. The last option, obviously, is you could just choose to have no internet at all. Yes, this is an option to consider. I put it there as a solution, just like have no internet, just black out as country. Uh, yeah, it, this would mean that you're frankly not connected to the world and stuff like that. One thing I did not mention you may have noticed is the prices associated with all of these solutions here. The price, the internet pricing in South Africa just sucks. It's one of the most expensive, we have one of the most expensive internet tariffs in the world in case you didn't know. And I'll publish a video actually on that pretty soon as to why that even happened right and maybe how we can you know propose a solution to that right, that's been it from my end so far guys i'll see you guys when i see you guys pretty boys worldwide <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding guys relax relax okay jeez you guys need to take a joke